Batman out dance stunting Action ready for the thumping Video 2? Oh my god, the first video was a success Like, uh Oh, this lipstick girl I just had a tissue here, here This is what the high school girls used to do back in the day They used to do this? Yeah, they used to take it To take the excess off They used to just One time One time, that's it? Why do you know this? Because I've seen a lot of girls do this oh. I had a lot of friends that used to do this oh. I used to see it and I used to see the paper mm. They used to do it on a piece of paper oh. And then they would also go Mm-hmm. It's good, man. Please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Huh? Eh? Yes. Look at you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm here with Ify, the one and only husband. <laughs> Instagram husband, that's it. You just officially became an Instagram husband. Never did I think I was going to become an Instagram husband. <laughs> You're so famous now. Everybody loves you. Did you see the messages? I love the messages. Oh my god, guys. Really appreciate everybody's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful comments. And yeah, uh, so sweet. Definitely. You know, it just, it just made us feel so uh, appreciated and loved. And uh, here we are. Guys, I'll, I'll tell you something. I swear this is why we're here. He was reading the messages and he could not... First of all, he couldn't even believe he was out there. Yeah. Like... Hi. Okay. Like, this is me? Are my friends really watching this on I was television? Getting, getting messages from my friends, watching <laughs> it on big screens at work. And it's just, uh, I was like, I can't believe this is happening to me. Oh. <laughs> Exposing you, you're exposing me, we are exposing everything. <laughs> Not everything. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are here. Oh, sorry. Don't, don't, honey, don't kill the studio. We just did the whole beautiful set of everything. Yeah, well okay, back. So basically, we are here because we are filming a second video, and today's video is gonna be about. Drum roll. How we. Yeah, everybody's been asking about this, uh, wondering, right? Yeah, man. This is like such a big story. Yeah. I mean, all our friends know. That I'm what? I'm a storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> He's always the one who is telling everybody the stories and I'm just there like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If he yalla, wrap it up. Zid, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know him. I hope you guys have a minute because we have... Especially him. Details. We have details, Come guys. Come on, we love details, right, guys? <laughs> I think they just want to see footage. You're going to tell the story. We're going to show some footage. So the funny thing is, we actually uh, created footage. Yeah. When we first uh, met, not knowing, you know, where we was going to go. I was a vlogger. Yeah. And guys, I was like, if this guy, if <laughs> this dude from New York is going to become my husband, I better have that shit. On camera. <laughs> actually vlogged it. Yeah. I mean, you know that I vlogged it, right? Of course. But what do you mean? I was also vlogging as well. But did you also know that I vlogged before? No. Like, before I came to... Pick me up? Yeah. No. Really? So you never seen that footage? Never saw that footage. Are you kidding me? Allah. Oh my god, are you gonna see it now for the first... <laughs> first time. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw it. Oh, wow. I remember you videotaping me when I came out. Yeah, but this before, there's like yeah. footage before that. No, 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 this. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Guys. So this is a treat for me? Okay. <laughs> um, let's check it out. Hi everybody. Well, actually, hi Shake. This is a video for us because I decided that I wanted to film actually how we met and the first time we met so I decided to uh, capture this moment since it's, a, since it's a very special moment for me and I think for you as well I thought why don't I just capture it because it will be in our memories but I think it would be even nicer if we would have a, a video image of it so at the moment I am on my way to the airport he just landed and I'm super excited I'm a little bit nervous as well but I of course I didn't tell him that I'm nervous um, well basically we have been talking for a month now and it's the first time we're gonna see each other 
He flew over all the way from New York and skiing. I really feel so sorry for him that he had to do that. But because he is such a courageous guy and he's a hero, I'm wearing the t-shirt hero to show him that he is a hero. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go and see him at the airport now. I see him can't at the airport believe now. It is. Did you did you actually think that this could possibly end up like this? This is what I'm okay. saying. I mean, I filmed this not knowing what was gonna happen. I mean, that that meeting at the really? airport. Yes, I did that. <laughs> so I was like, if this is her, huh? if we are here today, then at least I have the footage. This is what I said. Yeah, I vlogged before I actually came to pick you up. Yeah. Crazy! <laughs> Subhanallah. <laughs> unreal, unreal. Like. So like, basically, how did we get here? Yeah, you're probably all wondering, right? <laughs> Let's rewind back. How did we get here? It definitely isn't the normal story that most people would expect. We've gotten so many different uh, questions and how people said, like, how they thought that we met. You know, she was cabin crew, I was an uh, aircraft engineer. So they thought that somehow we crossed paths, but the reality, um, it was through Instagram. Instagram, guys. Instagram connected Can you us. This? Out of all all things that connected us, right? They brought us together. Oh my God! The yeah. only good thing Instagram brought me, <laughs> husband. How it all happened is um. I actually was on Instagram, I was at work one day, and I remember just on my explore page I saw a picture, a small little picture, and I saw this beautiful woman, and I was thinking to myself, wow, who is this woman? So I clicked on her, her uh, the, on the picture, and then uh, I came across her profile, and as I came across her profile, I remember just like quickly scanning and thinking to myself, like, who is this girl? So I just took a screenshot at that moment because I was busy and then next thing you know, I forgot about it. So this is what men do, they make screenshots. I ended up, uh, I had that picture in my phone and I completely forgot about it. So yeah, I forgot about you. And that, that, <laughs> okay. that was in, uh, in January. Okay. January okay. of uh, 2018. What was I doing in January? I'm just thinking, oh my god, I was like... <laughs> like mentally preparing like I need to get the hell out of UAE at that point guys you know it was yeah. New Year's and I decided with New Year that this is my last year in Etihad I am NOT spending another Ramadan in UAE mm -hmm. I want to spend Ramadan back home with my parents with my family so yeah. I was already like programming yourself programming myself and already like organizing everything to go back basically and yeah, so that's what I was doing back then actually, mentally. Mentally. I was like... In December with New Year, yeah. I was like, that's where I said to myself, Khalas, that's it. So, ironically for me, around the same time in my head in, in the December of 2017, January, I also had this feeling of like making this intention of wanting to settle down. Like wanting to get married, little did I know who this person was going to be, when this, when this person was going to come into my life, and uh, yeah, but I, I clearly recall making this intention, you know? So I'd never said that I want to go back to Holland and then I want to get married, but I did say in my head, yeah. as long as I stay here, nothing is ever going to happen. Naturally. Like, yeah. I'm not even going to meet some something Adi. Yeah, because the potential to meet somebody. The potential is like so small when you're a cabin crew and you're flying and everybody that you meet is a passenger. Yeah. Everybody's just passing through. Like, yeah. so I was like, I need to be stable and I need to be back with my family. And from there on, I can like explore. And then see what you're... And see what, 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 what's, what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. So I remember um, taking a screenshot of this picture. And I completely forgot about it. I was uh, Which very... picture was it? It was uh, you wearing this uh, green turban, you were in this green outfit, this like navy green, I mean not navy green, like on um, this dark olive green kind of. Oh, you know? yes, 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 yes. 
I remember, yeah. It wasn't actually olive, but yeah, it was a green color outfit, yeah. you know? Army green. Yeah. And um, yeah, as I was scrolling, I just scanned real quickly and then I just didn't have the time. So I just said, you know what? I got to uh, take a screenshot of this and then come back to it. So what ended up happening is I remember that was in January and then sometime in February, I was going through my photos and I was just looking through my photo albums and then all of a sudden your picture came I came across your picture again. You were organizing. Organizing. Organizati. Yeah? Organizati. Because <laughs> he's all about the organizati. Oh, big time. <laughs> so I, I came across your picture again. And so that then, was like two months later. Two months later. In, in March. This was uh, in February. Late, oh, in February. Late February. Okay. So um, I remember, yeah, I remember coming across your picture in my phone and I said, yo, I never, I never went back to check, to check her Instagram her, her page like the right way. So I ended up... Uh, scanning scanning i hit the follow button i like three pictures you know because i didn't want to make it seem like i'm uh, thirsty you know <laughs> stalker yeah very uh i was very curious you know because I, i'm looking at all these pictures and i see this girl mashallah so uh beautiful <laughs> so well dressed so well traveled and i was thinking to myself like who is this girl she had like I, I didn't even know who I was. Like, yeah. who are you? You? No, not me. You? Yes, I am you. Just answer the damn questions. Who are you? Right. But I, to me, I was just like, are you a model? Are you in like television somewhere in the Middle East or something like this? So what it is, guys, it was that I was a cabin crew, but I was trying not to never actually put pictures of me in my cabin crew outfit out there, yeah. as. I had decided that I was going to move back to Holland and actually try to make something out of the content creation and social media. I was like, let me just like not, you know, um, mix the two, mix the two. Yeah, true, yeah, because you don't want to promote something, represent something, but you're also working for an airline. So you could not really see on my Instagram that I was a cabin crew. I was not promoting it. This is why you didn't know that I was a cabin crew. You got me. You thought I was like this daughter of the... Sultan Possible. of Brunei, <laughs> like... Sheikha, <laughs> she has Oh, you are now, right? Yeah, now I am. <laughs> <laughs> I um, scanned, liked a couple of pictures. I was like super impressed. I was thinking to myself, Mashallah, this girl is such a beautiful girl. Her energy, her vibe. I started watching some of her stories. Uh, not stories, some of her, some of the videos that she had posted. Mm. And um, yeah, I was just super impressed, you know, to say the least. And thinking to myself, like, okay, that's it. Just uh, another girl on Instagram, right? There's so many. There's so many. <laughs> uh, didn't, didn't have any expectations of anything. Didn't even, I mean, I hit the follow button. Never thinking that, that even she was going to ever follow me back or we were ever going to even talk. So what ended up happening is... Shortly after that, that was February, late February, and then the first week of March, yeah. I was I was at work again, mm -hmm. and I would go on Instagram and I have my co my uh, coffee break, and I remember seeing her little highlight come up for her story. So the I, story was up, guys. So I, you know me and my stories. So I clicked the story, <laughs> and then here it all comes out. She's wearing a cabin crew uniform, and I was like blown away she's cabin crew it all makes sense yeah why she's so well traveled that's why i was right? all over the place yeah so what ended up happening is i completely my jaw dropped thinking oh she's cabin crew so now so I, did you think did you have like a negative thought when you saw cabin crew or no were you like disappointed or were you i was like, actually like happy because it was something that uh, was relatable to yeah, me so i yeah. felt like you and i had something in common like we had this love for travel and yeah. we we're also in the same kind of uh, industry business right it's always it's all it's almost like when you meet people who are in the same industry you automatically connect connect with them yeah. like oh hey which airline do you work for oh nice yeah. what are you oh this i'm that i'm this i'm that so yeah i didn't but i didn't know that you were obviously yes yeah, so we're gonna get to that <laughs> so she she had made of uh, in her story she had posted how many of my followers would love to know more about what i do for a living and this is how it all went down so i basically literally i responded nothing sleazy I responded to the to the story with a yes and two exclamation points. <laughs> what happened, guys, was I was like, okay, I'm quitting my job 
so you know what it doesn't matter now if I show myself on Instagram with my uh, outfit I actually wanted to start YouTube so I was like if there are any questions from my following I'm gonna collect them now through Instagram so let me ask how many people actually would want to see a video like that and um, let me do a little poll so what happened was I do that poll thing or like the question thing I can't remember what I yeah, did like the Q&A kind of thing right? Q&A kind yeah. of thing and then he replied so basically I went into the DM to check all the people that responded to, that your responded question. to my question yeah so then I see his name there like I was just scrolling through all the names questions writing them down and I see his name and he's he writes yes and then I saw the profile picture. I saw the profile picture and I was like, Whoa! Damn! Oh, this is cute. Girls, <laughs> <laughs> listen, if you see something cute, that's it, right? It's like, oh, interesting. I see his name on Instagram and I see this, uh, the Sheikh of Aviation. I was like, Who's this Sheikh? <laughs> I was more thinking like who does he think that he is to call, to call himself a sheikh like yeah in Moroccan we would say <laughs> I was like uh, okay wait 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 so he replies right so I'm just gonna show you guys the message cause this you gotta see it to believe it that's it he gave me shit you know so I had he to he was like really trying to like mm, <laughs> like who you think you are to call yourself that name? I was like, you know what? Uh, let me try to give you shit and let me see what you say. So I just replied to you because, you know, I just like to, especially when men try to show off. Yeah. I just like to, like, just bully them. I'm a bully. <laughs> I am a bully, 100%. <laughs> What's up, money? You got a problem? What you looking at my ass for? Nah, yo, hold my poodle. Hold my poodle. <laughs> so I told him... Um, I said to him, oh, so who do you think you are, you know, like, what did I say exactly? Um, oh, if you call yourself the Sheikh of Aviation, you have all the answers. Yeah. Yuck. I mean, and then you replied, uh, <laughs> slick. I have all the answers maybe about aviation, but they're not about you. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> it was something along the lines of like. Of like, yeah, I know a lot about aviation, but I want to know more about you. <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> Obviously, I had to be like all bad and bougie again. So I said, I am just a plain girl on a plane. Yeah. Honestly, got to give the credits. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, even when I reread it, I was just like, where did she come up with this? Hey! I had my lines ready. I was glad that you spelled it right. What? <laughs> you the spelled plane. It, you spelled plane and airplane right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was glad that I didn't read them the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> we just started talking and he was uh, asking me some things about my name. Basically, it was just a very normal conversation. Yeah, very, very, very halal. Yeah, 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 it was no. about, it was about the name, it, yeah, and then you asked me where I was from and uh, how was yeah. the industry. It when the conversation started, it was just very like after we overcame that uh, you trying to give me shit, right? Oh yeah, yeah. first was that a hard to get kind of yeah. uh, you know Adi. But um, it just the, the conversation just started to flow. We yeah, it was flowing, and also then, because we had a lot of things in common. Yeah, obviously because of the industry. So she was in, which city were you in by the way, do you remember? When that happened, I think I was in Brisbane. Brisbane. I think I was okay. in Australia. And obviously I was in New York, so we obviously had this big time difference. And uh, she would respond to my messages and then, yeah. you know, if she was flying, there would be this big break and then I would just, we would just respond back and forth. So we just started talking and it just, uh, it went so, so, so smoothly. It went so smoothly, Coming guys. Back. There yeah. was a point where I was like, this guy, he talks, he's so well-spoken. You know what it is after living for two years in UAE? You speak to a lot of people and the IQ is very low, <laughs> guys. I mean, whoever is watching this, if you've lived in UAE, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I mean, the quality of the conversations is... Uh... <laughs> 
Maybe it's tough. <laughs> はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
It was like, yeah. right? It was like five o'clock in the morning, eating I think my. I even have this video. No, we're not showing this. <laughs> My Listen. English was so bad, guys. I got tons of ah! videos. So it, this this whole conversation with this girl, <laughs> it was so surreal to me. It was like I couldn't believe that this was actually happening. You know, um, <laughs> so I felt I kind of violated it. She she felt violated. Later, I was so upset. Yeah, she said to me. I was so upset, I questioned everything. I, yeah, you really, you really did. I questioned everything, I was like... What is he gonna do with this stuff? What? Sit. I'm blowing his marriage! <laughs> <laughs> no, we were not that far. No, no, we, we weren't. But we were in the, in the, in the engagement process, you yeah, know? Yeah, we when were in the engagement came out, process. And I, yeah. I had told her, listen, I, your story, not your stories, those video messages that you sent me, I screen recorded them. So those were my memories of if this ended up going somewhere, and if it didn't, it didn't, right? But it Who didn't. does that? Yeah. You did that. I did that, and look what happened now. Yeah, I mean... We have the footage I'm of, gonna, uh, I'm gonna cringe and I'm gonna die if I see those videos. Guys, i never seen those, those videos. Yeah. I just remember that once you told me that you had them, I was like... I can't believe, I can't trust this guy. I can't trust him anymore, that's it. That's it guys, yeah, yeah. I was eating my cracker, waiting for my bus to come and pick me up because I had a, what was it, like 15 hour flight, right? Yeah, back. Uh, no, going to Australia. Okay, and, oh it was going, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna send this video and then Clar, you know, whatever happens, I'm I'll gonna see, out. I'll find out the other side of the world. Yeah. I don't know why I find it so important because the conversation was just so nicely and I just didn't want to be disappointed or whatever. At this point, I had nothing in mind. Eh? I don't even know how the dude looks like. Imagine. Yeah. I sent a little I... profile picture and that's it. I was just appreciating the conversation because sometimes to have a very good conversation is so valuable and it doesn't matter who it is. But, but then again, I'm the uh, professional conversationalist. You do know how to talk, <laughs> boy, you know. Yeah, boy, yeah, obey. So, I get to my hotel room 15 hours later, or even longer because 15 hours is the flight. Yeah, then get to the flight, in the flight, get out of the flight. Mohim, she 24 hours, I don't Wi-Fi know. Wi-Fi connected. Yeah, then I get to the hotel room. The moment of the I connected to my phone and I see there is like three videos coming in on Instagram private message. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> the guy sent me a video back, guys. I'm marrying him. Clar. Clar. <laughs> if that's what it takes. <laughs> I was just like, did he really do this? Oh my god. But he did. Yeah, I did it. I sat down. I opened up. I checked the video and I'm like. And I need you. And I miss you. I'm not getting catfished. <laughs> oh. I was like, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> and the accent. New York. Yeah. Americans. You were wearing your baseball shirt. Yeah, yeah. The beard was done, the hair. Mohim. I was like, and you could talk good. And you look cute. Okay, this could uh, continue. <laughs> Oh, this can continue. You know why? Why? Because he lives in New York. This is never gonna happen yeah. anyway. So, so this was uh, this, this was, was the safest way for me to just talk to somebody, no expectations, and just have a beautiful conversation and talk about life and Islam and and family, family and our past. Cultures. It yeah. was it was like a beautiful friendship. That's yeah. what that, you felt like. It started out this way exactly, and the thing you is, felt like a very good friend. Because we had this distance, it yeah. was um, we didn't put this pressure. Of there was no pressure of dates and him trying to impress each other and uh, even the whining and dining and all of that stuff. No, there was no there was no expectations. No, exactly. Uh, so we actually got to know each other just through video messages and FaceTime. After this, this video back and forth of video messages, we went to uh, WhatsApp or FaceTime. Right? You used to have the VPN. Yeah, I had because in the UAE you cannot FaceTime. Yeah. So you need VPN so you can Skype or uh, we used to use all kinds of 
apps to try to call each other but yeah. Uh, I think eventually, after we were like so tired of sending the Instagram videos, back and forth, right? I was like, is he gonna ask me my number or what? <laughs> <laughs> but you were just so respectful. You just didn't wanna. Yeah, you know give what it me... is. I just didn't wanna ever give you this feeling of like any kind of um, that 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 I was trying to do anything shady, you know? Yeah, I yeah. I, got, I got that you vibe, know? but I was like, yeah, it was wrap it up you know <laughs> it was it <laughs> we're just fast you know like okay yeah, yeah, Safi, yeah. Claudia, uh, what's gonna happen now uh, hello i'm moving back i was like i'm moving back to holland uh at least i have vp at least i have facetime i can talk to him if we you know if we still want to talk to each other but the thing is you still okay you still had a couple of months right i had no because this was beginning of march because beginning of april first of april I wanted to resign and you had one month notice. Mm. So that means that I would have to work all the month of April so that I can go back home on the 1st of May because 10th of May was Ramadan. Right. So I had calculated it already perfect. So imagine I go live on Instagram on the 1st of March or something or 3rd of March. He talks to me then. And we, we spoke for three weeks, we long distance. We spoke for three weeks on, face, on, on chatting. These conversations, they started out, so we started out from those messages, went into video messages, then we went to FaceTime, and then uh, those FaceTime conversations even lasted, what, they went six, <sighs> seven, eight, nine hours. You know when you have this like... Ten hours of just talking. Oh my talking. god, I can't wait to FaceTime again. And then it's like, oh my god, I was on the phone for like five hours. That, last time I did that, we had a little SIM card, it was called Orange. Orange. <laughs> That was like... I think the longest we spoke was like nine hours. Yeah, it was nine hours, guys. And then like, I ended up going back to work. <laughs> oh my God, I used to be on a layover yeah. because then I can call. And then I was just I was just like, I'm going nowhere. I'm not even going to go out. I anymore. didn't sleep that night, I remember. Yeah. You and it's because because your our time zones are so different. Yeah, And I wanted true. to talk to you. This is true. So, so uh, what ended up happening is after we spoke, I decided like, let me, let me see if she's willing to... If she's if she's comfortable with me flying over to UAE to to meet her, you know, uh, because we spoke for for three weeks, and the vibe and the connection was perfect, but we still had to to make sure that the in person connection and obviously I needed to at least wine and dine you. Yeah. You know. But I never thought that it was actually gonna happen, guys. Yeah. I was like, this guy's just talking. Yeah. He's like full of uh, blah blah. <laughs> I was like, uh-huh, after three weeks, you want to come to, to uh, New York, I was going to say, to Abu Dhabi, yeah. you want to come to see me? Mm, okay, I want to see all about that. <laughs> even, I, even her closest friends were oh, like... Oh, nobody believed it. They were like, listen, oh, no. this guy is not, you better forget about it. This guy is not going to, nobody's going to do this. Nobody's I was gonna like, come. I had one week and that was exactly that week before I was going to resign. And I was like, I need to organize everything in that week. You know how it is, like, I build up a life for two years in another country. Yeah. And I had to just pa start packing my stuff and, you know, canceling my prepaid, my phone, my this, my that. Like, close in the bank account. Close, to close yeah. my life over there. So I needed that week <clears throat> to basically get ready for my move back home. And when you offered to come, yeah, I was like, well, yo, okay. But gonna, I, gonna... I got things to do. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good that you come in that week. Yeah. Because I needed help. <laughs> I was like, it's good. We can see each other. Yeah. And also because I am busy. Yeah. You were going to see your best friend. Yeah. I had a good friend that lived in, in uh, Abu Dhabi. He still. He still, still lives there. Still lives there. He works for Etihad. Yeah. And um, Paolo, thank you. If Tat you're watching. Tatiana, thank you. You guys have seen all of this from the <laughs> beginning. <laughs> yeah. You guys get to see it all happen. Yeah. So... I ended up, he offered, my good friend offered me to come stay with him and his, his wife and his kids. And it was just, it was perfect because yeah. it, it also didn't give her the feeling that I was like here in a hotel and all of this kind of stuff. He's here for me yeah. and what does this, this dude want? And yeah, and this is what, one of the reasons why I, I actually was very happy with uh, that kind of, uh, that accommodation that I was in. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. It, for me, it felt very, very safe. Yeah. You know, like... Um, if we want to meet up, we can. And if we don't, if we don't, I still it was have... fine as well. Yeah. But uh, I had a car which uh, Jamila had lent me, borrowed, lent, borrowed. Yeah. What is it? So to get back, um, he flew. Yeah. To Abu Dhabi, and I picked him up. 
he landed guys and I'm still refueling here I'm always late always late oh, I'm just the biggest shame ever okay I'm finally here at the airport it was about time but we made it we made it we made it let's hope he's not already waiting for me okay I'm at the airport now and he's, he said that he's coming he got his bags freaking nervous I can hear my heart beats. <laughs> Guess who's there? Oh my god! <laughs> People, it's real! I'm here! <laughs> wow! <laughs> we both look so different. Huh? I know! <laughs> oh my god guys yeah crazy right this footage it's like unreal that you have this first of all my accent second of all we looked like <laughs> but the fact that we have this footage this is like crazy this is like the first time i saw you in, in person. person yeah yeah, so I picked him up from the airport, guys, and I was like, this is the moment of tr of the truth. You can have an amazing connection through the phone. Yeah. We had an amazing conversations. Like, we discussed so many things, like... Personal, 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 personal things details, yeah. and pa our pasts, our futures, the present, yeah. financials. Like, the way you and I got to meet each other yeah. was so... Like, I want to tell everybody that ask the right question when you meet somebody. It's not like, huh, oh, I like you, you like me. And yeah, absolutely. Where's your shirt from? And what are we going out for dinner? And, yo, ask questions that are important to you. Like, what do you find important in a guy? What do you find important in a woman? Uh, how is somebody's dean? How is somebody's uh, uh, thoughts, uh, intention? Family. Family. How do they treat their parents? What are your goals, you know? What do you feel that you've achieved in your past? What would, what do you still have that you want to achieve in the future? Uh, we we just spoke literally we about spoke all the right a things. A lot, guys. Yeah. We discussed a lot of things, and this is why I was I was very very afraid to meet you in person because I was like we had such a good connection and we spoke so so much yeah. that I was like if if the, but if there's no connection in real life then this was all for nothing. Yeah. I mean, and then again, I know that he's in Abu Dhabi and I'm in Abu Dhabi too. And if he doesn't, if I don't want to see him, then how am I going to tell him? Like, yeah. Uh, so we, we even talked about this. Yeah, we did talk about this. Yeah. Because we she, asked about me this, she asked me this afterwards and I said to her, she said, what would you have done? If, if, if uh, I was just like, uh, if they, yeah. they, So I ended up coming for uh, nine days we spent together. Eventually you came nine days. Yeah. yeah. So, but she said to me. She said, like, what would you have done if day one, day two, uh, after day one, I didn't, uh, I tried to give you this avoiding kind of vibe. And I said, yeah, listen, I could take a hint, you know, after day, uh, day two, day three, if I feel that you're not really communicating with me or you're trying to blow me off, yeah, just, you take the hint, right? And you just move on with life. But, uh, alhamdulillah, it didn't happen that way. No. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, it was like so surreal though. I was like, oh my God. This is him. This is really him. The guy that I spoke to three weeks mm. and eight hours a day. Like, wow. Okay. <laughs> Full time job. Full time job. Just, just talking to me. My God. And I remember I dropped him at Paolo and I went back home and then I panicked. I was like, what am I doing? What? Now what? <laughs> so now what, guys? Whatever happens next is going to be for the next episode done next episode yeah yeah it's uh, 40 minutes baby wow. so okay guys yeah <laughs> guys this was part one that means it's gonna be part two i think even a part three and you know what if this goes well we'll even continue the series sure into the engagement are we doing this <laughs> into the wedding oh ah! boy <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, guys, if you like this video. We want to thank you guys for watching. You so if you much. made it till here, till the end, thank you for watching. If you want to support us, please subscribe to our channel. 
We appreciate your support. The comments coming. The comments coming. Uh, I think if you guys subscribe, that's what really helps us yeah, to grow, and this gives us something to look. Yeah, motivation. To yeah, continue. motivation to continue. Yeah. And um, I just really want to hit the 30k. I don't know, but I was like, I really, I'm, I'm 28, I think, 28 something, and uh, 30k Shall would be great. Good. Yeah, I mean, 200k on Instagram, and then you have 30k on YouTube, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> uh, motivation, guys. motivation. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Uh, it was the first time for you guys to see it, but it was also the first time for Ify to see it. For me too, yeah. <laughs> so what did you think of it? I was blown away. I, I could still can't believe that you, you had recorded yourself picking me up in the airport. And I can't believe that I never told you that I did this. No, you never did. You know what I think and I... And it's not even one of these things that you told me and you forgot you told me. No, you never no, told me. No, no, no. I yeah. knew that I did it, but I was like, I'm gonna show it to you like later later you know Lad. i never knew that it was gonna be right now right here subhanallah but... this the fact that that all of this happened the way it did and you and i didn't at that at those moments didn't know that it was it was gonna happen this yeah. way you know? no guys keep us in your prayers keep us in your duas we appreciate it. Really Everybody do. that sends the duas uh, in the comments, we really appreciate I mean, it. Thank I mean, you so thank much. Thank you very much. I mean, inshallah, Allahumma, I mean, to all the duas, thank you. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Ciao! Salama. Batman, oh, dance, taunting. Action, ready for the thumping.